But the chicken that we saw in Walmart, it was like frosted over, and the price said it was a dollar and three cents. But it wasn't in due until December 14th. So that means they were trying to sell some bad chicken that went bad prior to its like expiration date, and they just changed the expiration date and said it was, you know, right. it was good, but for a dollar and three cents. So if you didn't know no better, you would have looked at the price and been like, oh, that's a great price. It's white outside, and the night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's all around All snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas everybody welcome back to our family channel and the crew i'm gonna spare you guys for having to hear this voice we just got back from walmart so i'm gonna let alicia do the haul hello everyone so starting over here with everything that i got for myself so i got some thinly sliced boneless skinless chicken breasts yeah got those and then i got picked up some uh sausage patties spicy and I got some clear American waters, cotton candy, strawberry, and I bought two of the cherry, uh, no, I bought a cherry limeade and a watermelon. And I went ahead and I got some Fabuloso. And I got two of these uh, little air freshener vent things because I find that these work better in like closed spaces than for breeds like this. And then I got five of the the, t the tuna fish uh, and water, because those are better. I got five of those, five of those cans. And then I got some brown, whole grain, brown rice. And then we got some orange juice, some tomatoes, two to be exact. Mama got her some strawberry filled candy. And then she got some root beer barrels and mom picked up some a lettuce head and she got some potatoes back there I think we're eating those today and she got some chicken drumettes some drumettes that's what I said some drumsticks <laughs> obviously she got some hauls those for your mama those that for your mama mm -hmm. and then she also got some that's for your mama Severe congestion and sinus relief. For you. Maximum. That's for you. That's the, that's the um, Walmart brand of the Mucinex. Yeah. And Mama got some Winnie the Pooh um, honey for her throat. Her throat. And then I got a thing of gingerbread soft cookies. And Mama also got some. These are our favorite snacks during Christmas time. They're so good. And then, obviously, Mom picked up these bags of chips. She got the Cheetos Puffs, the sour cream and onion, party size. And then she got mm. some Hickory Barbecue, the wavy. And then over here, we got some um, hamburger buns, which are going to go with the hamburgers that Mom are making. I'm Mom's making them today. Tried making. Same difference. Y'all are one. <laughs> and then we got some bunny bread where our keys were found. Long story, well, that story. And Mama Those also mine. got these Halls breathers, which these are so good to just pop in your mouth. I know you're not supposed to do that because they do have medicine in them, but they're still really good. And then I got these clippers. They're like reusable lighters. Got these. 
And then I also got some ground flax seed. They're like the actual seeds, they're just milled so that, you know, that weird consistency doesn't happen in my smoothies. But they're really good for like protein and stuff like that. And mom picked these up for Philip, which I got him hooked on these. She got the watermelon and then she got the cotton candy to replace the one that Deontay drunk. And then she also picked up two things of ground beef for also the hamburgers. One is for hamburgers and one is for this upcoming week for some meat patties. Okay, if y'all did not hear her, she said these are for our hamburgers and then these are for the upcoming week for some meat patties, which is the exact same thing as hamburgers. Oh, like that's like oh, yeah, yeah over yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but it's the same, it it, yeah, but it's the same thing as hamburgers. Yeah, they just going in the oven. But that's our haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This shall be the last time until we get ready to prepare for Christmas. So, you know you lying to them. You know we gonna go we back gonna to try. the stuff. You gonna try not to, cause you know. These are expensive. Hold on. A Slim Jim, a deli size Slim Jim used to be $1.15. They are now $2. $2. What else did we see that went up in price? Everything. Yeah, everything. everything. Heck, lemons are 95 cents a lemon. They used to be like 39 what? 49 like, cents. Uh, I don't understand. These waters used to be 45 cents. They now went up to 65 cents. Uh, these are this little thing. This little thing right here was ten dollars. I paid ten dollars for this. Yeah. No, you no. gotta tell them about the chicken we seen. Oh, okay. So I have been seeing. I have been seeing on TikTok. People have been saying to like check your chicken, um, especially like when you go to Walmart's or like what's that other store we used to go to? Like it's not Rouse's. Uh, it's where we used to get our meat from, but they say like to check it because whenever like the chicken, like the saran wrap supposed to look flat like this. If it's puffed up or like it looks like there's condensation inside of it, the chicken's not good anymore. That means that they didn't like refrigerate it. It hadn't been refrigerated. So that's how people get salmonella poisoning. But the chicken that we saw in Walmart, it was like frosted over and the price said it was a dollar and three cents but it wasn't in due until december 14th so that means they were trying to sell <laughs> some bad chicken that went bad prior to its like expiration date and they just changed the expiration date and said it was you know right. it was good but for a dollar and three cents so if you didn't know no better you would have looked at the price and been like oh that's a great price Right. And it's not because it it's bad chicken. And I think they were wings. Yeah, like that. And it was like when I say it was frosted over, it literally looks like they just put like no I like flour inside on the chicken right. and they were selling it with flour on it. It it was disgusting. So just I would recommend checking your chicken and even these today's the what? What's today? Today's the fourth. I don't know what you're Today is the 4th. This is due on the 8th, but it can be freezed by the 8th. So you can freeze these and they'll last like a long time. But if you get bad chicken in the store already and you try and freeze them, it's still going to be bad when they thaw right. out. And they going to be, yeah, yeah you're going to yeah. get sick. So I would just recommend checking your chicken. And if anything, try not to buy processed meat. I know that's like really hard because not everybody has like fresh stuff like that. But just, I would just say check it. Because not everything is good. They still gonna sell it because it's a profit. So that's it. That's all. That's my TED talk for today. But I hope y'all enjoyed our video. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you leave a comment down below and tell us what do you think about the food that we got and suggestions or anything or just comments on like what y'all have noticed with the price increases on food and yeah that's about it make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for our next video bye and as the bass keep pounding on me baby i really want to make you mine i don't really care about love
Oh, oh, oh.